the hosts of Sunrise, David Kochi Koch and Natalie Barr, have been criticized over an interview they conducted with Cooper Lawrence, a prominent American commentator and critic of Amber Heard. In the past, Lawrence has been asked to criticize Amber Heard on The Morning Show. This time, though, he's been asked to address Heard's impending interview with US Today. A portion of that interview was published today. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at how TV host laughs and humiliated Amber Heard on air after this. Yeah, you heard it right. During the interview on Sunrise, the radio host made several disparaging comments about the Aquaman actress, accusing her of attempting to maintain a toxic relationship with her ex-husband Johnny Depp. Despite the fact that Heard had filed for divorce from Depp in 2016, when asked about the footage from Heard's upcoming interview, in which the 36-year-old actress admits to having so much sorrow around her marriage to Depp while maintaining her charges of abuse, Lawrence accused Heard of lying again. Lawrence remarked in reference to the claims made by Heard during her interview with today's Savannah Guthrie, I think she's on the You Need to Listen to Me tour. Yet, she has these awkward moments that she's had throughout the trial, where you're kind of like, Wait, are you lying again? It seems as though she's unable to recall the details of the story that she had memorized in preparation for this interview, and she's not even being questioned under oath. She went on to directly reference Heard's assertion that Depp had successfully convinced the jury owing to his acting abilities, and she said that he's the man who convinced the world that he has scissors or fingers. According to her website, Lawrence has a PhD in psychology. Look, the problem is, we all agree that Johnny Depp does not have fingers that look like scissors, and we also do not believe that he was ever a genuine pirate. She said, I'm trying to figure out what her aim was here, but the whole thing is incredibly bizarre and really weird, which was met with laughter from the host. In another context, Barr inquired as to whether or not Heard may be sued for defamation once more in light of the fact that the abuse claims from the trial have been rehashed in public. In an opinion piece that she wrote for the Washington Post in 2018, Heard defamed Depp by saying that she was a public figure representing domestic abuse. As a result of this, the jury decided that Depp was entitled to damages in the amount of $14.4 million. Even though Heard did not identify Depp by name in the article, he nonetheless filed a lawsuit against her for indicating that he was a domestic abuser. Later, Heard filed a countersuit claiming that Adam Wallman, who represented Depp, slandered her by suggesting that her allegations of abuse were a hoax. The judge granted her a compensation of $2 million. This morning, Lawrence made the bold assertion that Heard has been poking the bear ever since her divorce from Depp, citing the reason that she still wants him in her life as the reason for her behavior. Remember, they had divorced in 2017. Things were over. She said that she wants him to move on and that she wants to move on as well. They do have a poisonous relationship, but it is quite evident that she wants to keep it going. She continued by saying that she was anticipating her to be honest during the conversation. I was kind of looking for her to be more likable and more honest here and to say all the things that we've been hoping she'd say all along, which she does for like two seconds. But then she goes back to her whole, Johnny's an abuser, he's a liar, etc. It's very strange. Kachi voiced her agreement that it is bizarre and questioned out loud whether or not Deb would sue again simply to shut her up. Clementine Ford, an author and prominent voice in the feminist movement, responded angrily to the vicious segment by tweeting, Why is Sunrise on 7 so invested in wheeling out people to continuously pile on a woman who has already had 12 out of 14 allegations of domestic abuse against her agreed upon within a UK court? Clementine Ford was critical of the fact that the segment was so vicious. Why is it so important to them that their viewers be fed the villainous woman fiction? This is a reference to the lawsuit that Depp plans to file in 2020 against his son over an article that referred to him as a wife abuser. Due to the judge's determination that the article's claims were basically truthful, Depp was unsuccessful in his attempt to sue for libel. He promised the woman global humiliation, which he also openly labeled a cum guzzler, a whore, a slut, and a fat ass. He further detailed wanting to F the burnt dead corpse of the woman. In response to Johnny Depp's horrible emails about his ex-girlfriend, which were read aloud in court, Ford stated, but yeah, she's the one desperate for his attention. She came to the conclusion that Amber Heard has been abused. She's now being abused repeatedly by a braying public who just adore being given an excuse to proudly and brazenly play a woman in real time. And that's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section down below. I hope that you found this video interesting, and if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the following video with some more of the latest updates, and until then, stay tuned!